Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So after the last week of absolute Bitcoin brutality, the price has now dropped below a major structural support, previously coined the term the bull market uptrend. The loss of this level has led to some serious concerns about the macro positioning of Bitcoin, as well as the as technically speaking, the end of the Bitcoin bull run. So in today's video, we're going to dive into the charts to talk about the macro implications of the recent price action, um, the formation of a new structural pattern, as well as the scenario for bearish continuation and potential bullish reversal here. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel down below for regular updates every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday and ring that notification button so you never miss an episode. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free Telegram channel for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, Channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trade setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. Okay guys, so diving right into the daily chart, a lot has happened in the last couple of days or the last week in general, but it was really on Thursday that things started to look genuinely horrific. So on Thursday, we closed below our major level of support over here at $60,000. Guys, it was the same level of support that took us through the last four months of you know, horizontal consolidation. And after losing that level, the next 48 hours were crazy because we dropped all the way down to $53,300, which was nearly 12%. And Bitcoin pretty much fulfilled this entire volume gap here below that 60K support. So after that drop, I, it, things were looking all right for a second there. We had a daily candle close right back above that $56,600 level, which was the major bearish trigger that we spoke about in that last video. Um, but since then, Bitcoin has once again rejected again from 58.3 thousand that prior local low over here that sell side liquidity level and has gone back down. So we're currently sitting at 55 thousand dollars, and there is a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty about you know Bitcoin right now, and a lot of that is obviously due to external stuff. We've got Mt. Gox selling off; they've just started distributing their Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash to people who you know. The company went illiquid when Bitcoin was valued at $600. So there's going to be a lot of selling pressure there. And naturally, that's going to lead to even more selling pressure because of the fear generated by that news and by that information. We also had German government or some sort of German official selling a lot of Bitcoin as well, which has been rapidly reaccumulated. But, you know, they sold a lot as well. So this entire move downwards here was really generated by a lot of external and I guess, industry-specific um, selling pressure here for Bitcoin. If we take a look at S&P 500, this was the exact moment on June the 5th that S&P 500 broke above a corresponding level of resistance or a similar level of resistance, and it's gone back up. Macroeconomic information is telling us that we should be headed upwards. We have interest rates, interest rates cuts coming later on this year. The market should not be behaving the way it is. But Aside from that, another main factor that's causing all of this uncertainty with Bitcoin right now is the loss of a major structural pattern, the bull market uptrend. So on a weekly chart, we just had a weekly candle close a couple days ago. We have fully confirmed the loss of that level over here by closing down here at 50, sorry, 55,700. So as you guys can see, that is below the bull market uptrend, the one that we have been in for the last eight to nine months. And on the daily chart, we have also fallen below the 200-day moving average. So both of these are very suggestive of the bull market. They are suggestive of the bull market, sorry. And losing those levels, losing, you know, falling below that technical indicator, falling below that structural support tells us and it confirms that we have lost the Bitcoin bull run right now. It is, as of right now, we are not in a bull market. And so naturally that is, you know, causing a lot of doubt or just a lot of confusion really because... How, does that also mean that we are disrespecting the four-year cycle? Because the four-year cycle says that we shouldn't be topping out until October. And we are very, very far away from October. And if we disrespect the four-year cycle, are we about to enter a traditional bear market? What is this next period of price action going to look like? And realistically, we can't really gain any sort of steady feet and, and know until all of these external factors that we have that are suppressing the price of Bitcoin, um, which we also can't fully see. We don't really know until after it's happened or just before it's happened or when we do get the information it is very speculative. So until all of that kind of exits the market and we get a chance to kind of find retails, get a chance to kind of find their footing a little bit more, we are really looking quite uncertain. But yeah, as of right now, we are not in a bull market. So let's go into the video today to talk about 
the macro implications of this. Let's talk about the bearish continuation scenario on a macro perspective and the formation of a potentially new structural pattern, what we need to see for that to validate and how that new structural pattern can lead to a bullish reversal potential here. Before we get into any more analysis, guys, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, BitUnix. BitUnix is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non-KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get $5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. So if we're talking about macro bearish continuation, the levels that we're really likely to see and the main bearish trigger for that are pretty easily identifiable on both the volume profile and we're just looking at the price action. But realistically, that main bearish trigger that we have is a daily candle close below this sell side liquidity level out over here at 53,000. 300 right if we get a daily candle close below that it's very likely that the price is going to continue to fill this volume gap over here and move to that next level of support between fifty thousand and fifty two thousand dollars right so that would be immediate confirmation that we're going to see another small leg downwards on the daily chart but if we zoom out onto the weekly chart for a moment, we can see that in general, this 52k range of support really isn't all that strong. There is a, there isn't all that much data over here, much volume, and particularly in that last little segment of price action, you know, it really wasn't, you know, that strong of a resistance. So conversely, will it really be a strong level of support? Only time will tell. But right below that level, we have a next level of support that has a little bit more strength and that is between forty six to forty eight thousand dollars potentially we might see if we see the kind of selling pressure that we have here mount gox that caught that kind of selling off behavior we might get a flash below before we recover maybe not all the way down to 48 but somewhere to fill this gap over here in the volume profile but in general this next level of support over here between 46 and 48k is should be really really strong it is both a psychological level because it was our bull market trigger point because we broke above the prior dead cat bounce level of resistance which generally marks the bull market the start of the bull market um and there is just a lot more volume here in terms of the vrpv as well so it should be a really strong level of support and potentially a level where people begin to reaccumulate in preparation for you know a continuation of a macro bullish trajectory because it is really just such a strong you know or, or important level to be holding but yeah, so this daily candle close does have a lot of significance right because you know in the next day if we close below that 53.3k level we know that we are very likely to continue lower. But not only for that reason is this daily candle important, because this next 24 hours of price action actually has the potential to either validate or invalidate a really important potential bull structure that we are forming on the high time frame chart. So let's go ahead and draw that in. So moving over onto a different daily chart over here, you guys can see exactly why I'm saying that this next day of price action has a lot of significance, because you know if it isn't below 53.3, Sure, that might be fine. But if it is not a green day in general, we invalidate one of the very, very few potential bullish scenarios that exist for Bitcoin right now, right? Outside of this bull flag formation, realistically, the only thing that would tell us that Bitcoin is in general kind of okay in terms of any sort of bullish macro trajectory is a rapid reabsorption of all the selling pressure, the external selling pressure that we've experienced over here. And I don't see that happening until we get genuine confirmation that Mt. Gox has done distributing and whatever other external parties that may exist um, are done distributing, which we're not going to get access to realistically as retail investors. How are we going to access that information? So this is really the only bullish case scenario that I see for Bitcoin here, to be honest. Um, and it starts with a daily candle close back above this trend line over here. So we've still got 20 hours left, it's still time, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, but in essence, if we get that daily candle close that is green and back above this level, we confirm the formation of a bull flag pattern over here, which tells us that after this move downwards and after the massive amount of flushing out that we have done here, filling these gaps in the volume profile, Bitcoin should, should continue back upwards. Um, and in breaking this upper trend line over here on the parallel channel, this ascending parallel channel, we should get that bullish continuation that we were originally expecting, put us back on track for the four-year cycle, put us back on track for a all-time high in October, 
all that kind of stuff. But really a lot hinges on this daily candle here and the chart pattern that we have over here and its development. Right, so really quickly, let's go ahead and talk about that bullish case scenario um, just for the sake of it because we really do not know what's going to happen in the next 20, 20 hours. If we do manage to absorb that candle and it goes back up to being green, there is relevance here to talk about. So first of all, the very first thing we need to see in terms of that bullish continuation and move back above within this channel here is a candle close back above 58,300 over here, right? You guys can see it was that prior level of resistance that led to a bearish continuation over here. So we need to establish that as a base of support um, to see the price potentially push back above 60K macro support. And the main bullish continuation that we have here within this channel or this this descending channel is this red line over here, this $53,000 level. I've spoke about it previously. Um, it is a massive bullish trigger, right? Losing the level, we had a 7% correction. Going back above that level, we had a 13% bullish continuation. And you guys can see it over here. Moving above that level, we go generally up to retest these upper levels of the resistance over here. So it is a really important level for us to establish, and it is also the midline of our descending channel of consolidation and the 50-day moving average. So in terms of bullish case scenario, that is that main level that we're really looking to clear um, in terms of you know really getting confirmation that we are potentially going to see the a, a macro bullish correction back upwards. We're going to see, like I just talked about, that four year cycle potentially re, being reconfirmed, yada, 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 yada. Okay, so these are those main levels that we really need to be looking out for in terms of that bullish continuation, but really it does hinge on this next day of price action and what happens with this candle over here. So let's go ahead and dive into the short time frame um, and talk about what's going on in this little segment over here and what we need to see on the short time frame to tell us that we are going to get that reversal and time that reversal correctly. So moving over onto the four hour time frame, guys, realistically, what we're looking for in terms of that bullish case scenario or potential bullish case scenario is a break of this prior pattern that we've seen over here. So let me go ahead and just briefly describe it so you guys know what I'm talking about. So what we saw in this little segment of price action over here, this little black box was so we Bitcoin moved down to sell side liquidity level at 58,300. Upon bouncing on that level, we had a rejection from 63K and after falling back below that previously established sell liquidity level at 58,300, we had our bearish continuation all the way down to 53K. So what we're looking at right now in terms of this current segment of price action is exactly what we saw over here, right? Bitcoin has established that new sell side liquidity level, that new low at 53,300. We've gone back up to retest horizontal resistance here at 58,300. After rejecting, if we get a candle close below this level over here, 53,300, that red line, we are very likely to then get a continual bearish continuation to the next level of support here between 50 to $52,000. So this continual like um pattern of forming these lower lows and lower highs here has led to the formation of our current descending channel so if we're talking about the bullish potential bullish case scenario over here what we're really looking for is a bounce out of this channel of consolidation and a close that daily candle close above the opening price to get a green candle to validate this pattern formation over here at 55,800 that is where that candle close uh well that daily candle opened and this is where we need to close above for this bullish this higher time frame bullish pattern to be validated so on the short time frame what we need to see is obviously not a close above this a close below this level but a breakout of our descending channel over here and potentially an establishment of you know this new this level of here this previous resistance at 58,300 as a base of support instead so that would confirm to us that we're no longer seeing lower highs we've broken out of that pattern we're seeing a higher high here and a higher low and we are potentially seeing the start of that reversal over there on this short time frame as of right now, guys, it isn't looking amazing. I've just pulled up the RSI. We can see momentum is very much still in the negative. So until we manage to, you know, see signs that buyers are really stepping in to take control of the short time frame price action, 
we have a higher probability right now of getting that close below the sell side liquidity level and continuing in that bearish case scenario that I spoke about at the start of this video. So seeing $52,000 and $50,000 over here and if falling below that, seeing forty-six to forty-eight k Alrighty guys, that is all the analysis that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel down below. And if you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free Telegram channel for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. If you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trade setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. And if you are a trader, don't forget to sign up down below to beat you next to get 15% off all of your trading fees and 5,500 US dollars in sign-up rewards. Hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you next time. Bye!